This is such an amazing recipe, full of flavor and the stuffing is the best part of it all. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Now today I have a surprise for you all. Today's recipe is tandoori masala stuffed prawn bread. Now if you have everything prepped and ready, this recipe will take no time. So let's see how to make it. Come on. Let's start with the chutney filling first. These are everyday ingredients and the fresh coconut makes a world of a difference. All the flavor comes from the next few ingredients and each one has its own part to play in incorporating its their unique flavors to this masala. You can add more green chilies if you like spicy. Now just add 2 to 3 mint leaves for a hint of mint. The right combination of these ingredients are very important to make the final dish pop with flavor. Add a very little water at a time to make a thick paste. Now this is perfect and so vibrant. Keep this aside for a while. Let's make the tandoori masala powder. Again, the right combination of the spices is going to give the final dish its amazing flavor. The two distinct flavors of the tandoori masala and the chutney filling will come together as one and make the fish so awesomely tasty and yummy. Mix this well. Here I have small palm fritters which I have cleaned and washed. Discard the head and the insides. Cut out the fins and make a deep cut for the filling. Make incisions on the other side for the masala to coat well. Do the same for the rest of them. Drizzle the tandoori masala and spread it evenly on both sides so that the fish gets coated well. The detailed recipe with measurements is in the description box below. Start stuffing the fish with the prepared green chutney filling. Take your time and stuff well. Do the same for the rest of them. Wow, this looks so awesome. If you like my recipes, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will get notified with any new recipes that I post every Saturday. Thank you. Now it's time to coat the stuffed fish with rice flour. Coat it as evenly on both sides as possible. The rice flour will make the fish crispy and give a good texture. Perfect. Shallow fry with oil on low flame until golden on one side. Drizzle some oil for even frying. Make sure one side gets golden before turning. Too much turning will result in broken fish. Now be careful while turning. Wow, look how nice and crispy this has turned out. Drizzle a little oil for it to cook evenly. This is ready and I must tell you the kitchen is filled with this awesome aroma of the masalas. This looks so yum. Hope you like the recipe. The fish has cooked evenly golden and crispy and the stuffing has also cooked through. Enjoy and thank you for watching. Now this was such an amazing and easy recipe right so quick so easy so flavorful i hope you like it now if you like this recipe you know what to do give it a big thumbs up show some love 
and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next week bye